This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the National B License One Make event. So, it's just one race, one one make per series, you know, per car or manufacturer, whatever it is. And in the B License, it's two. It's the Prius Cup and the 86 versus BRZ Festival. So, with the Prius Cup, I am going to break my rule that I set for GT5, which was not using repeat cars in 5 and 6. But, really, it's a fucking Prius. Who gives a fuck? There it is. The 2009 Toyota Prius G. And I'm going to get it in... What color do I want? Dark Blue Mica looks pretty nice. And that could be a nice paint chip down the road. Yep, it's a car. It is indeed an automobile. Lap one shift. Yeah, that's what I'm. I I, I overheard something. In the lap one. I, I I remember seeing in the Discord. So by the way, Silverstone National Circuit. It's all Priuses. We could use the touring car, but that would be massive overkill. And um. If I remember correctly, this is a Prius 09 spec race anyways, so yeah. So I remember reading in the in the Discord that the start of the race was something else. Oh you could? If you if you can customize the the Prius to that extent, that could be a potential weapon in GT4. With the touring car and open lobbies. It was a combination of Macau and Mugello. Oh my god. Oh, this is the song that plays in arcade mode. Whenever you do time trials and stuff. Also, it's a 10 grid uh, field. So we bumped the field from 6 to 10, which is cool. This car doesn't have gears. I got a trail break to make sure we get that battery regen, everybody. That's very important. Exercise your driving skills. Great, get out of here, Chris. That was terrible. So what's the gap now? Eight seconds. Almost eight seconds even. I'd say up to P4 and we'd be in, in the right direction. Gotta get around some cars soon. Two for one. Yep, two for one. Now the mission challenges when we get to A license stuff is gonna be interesting because apart from B license, I've never done any mission challenges ever. So And they were actually kinda tricky in, in B license. I'm not gonna lie. So we'll see where it goes. Bro, all the wheel spin in the world in a Prius. Uh, yes, Fiends. Although I believe it goes from 6 to 12. Or it might be just 10, but... It does upgrade. Eventually, for International A, you do get six, a full 16, which is cool. Oh yeah, we're doing good. We're gonna win. If we don't fuck up somewhere. This is worse for the environment than an internal combustion engine car. Bro, it, it does all the good for the environment because it's a Prius and you know, Prius... Toyota Prius saves the world and saves the planet. Totally.
Yeah, six. Look, even with the relatively short length of six, I've never beaten this game. Only because, like, I I lost all desires to play the career mode even back then. I was kind of like, this game is boring. It's fun when you have fun with it. Like, if, you, if you're doing what I'm doing, which is using weird and dumb cars. But, like, I don't know. I think playing by yourself, the game is pretty dull. Which is why I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. Because, yeah. This is cool. Game was a rushed mess. Well, but unlike GT2, this game was not a masterpiece. This this game was a this was a good game, but not a good Gran Turismo game, if you get me. Like I feel like there was so much missed potential with this. Might come out in December? I don't know about that, Bust. I don't see it coming out this year. I see it coming out in 21, which, if it comes out in 21, I'd be cool with that. So, only one more. The 86 versus BRZ Festival. So we have to buy an 86 or a BRZ. But, because I'm dumb and I want to break the rules, we're not going to buy either one of those. No, we're totally not going to do that. We're going to go to America. We're going to go to Scion, and we're going to buy a 2012 Scion FRS, which is not an 86 or a BRZ. And if you say it is, then you clearly don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm getting hot lava. That's a strange color, and that's a strange color name first off, but yeah, we'll take it. The absence of endurance is me too. Like... 24 minute races are fun, don't get me wrong, but it'd be better off as a, as a one, like a separate championship and not an endurance, like, they're not real endurance races, which is what my problem is with the game. Oh, I was scrolling down the regular events, I forgot, it's one make. 86 versus BRZ Festival, was it three laps? Yep, three laps around Fuji Speedway F. And the field is going to be just purely... Toyota 86s and Subaru BRZs and Cyan FRSs. That's really it. They're all the same car, honestly. There's like almost no difference between them except for like visual cues, I believe. So this could have been an even split, but since we we were the one Chad in the freaking FRS, then it's five eighty sixes, four BRZs, one FRS. Full length endurances? Yeah, that... If the AI was good, then that'd be a good idea, but that would just be boring in my opinion. Like, GT5 would be a much better game to do arcade endurances, because... Number one, 16 car grid instead of 10 in arcade mode, like in GT6. And number two, the AI is much better. They're not great, but they put up more of a fight than GT6 AI. The first lobby you joined? I don't remember any lobbies you joined. The only lobby I really remember is Sky Hurricanes. And that's because, like... Oh, fuck. 86 Racing? I forgot about that car. Isn't it literally just the... the like, the weight's been dropped on it, and that's pretty much it? That's cool. Literally, like, Sky Hurricane's old GT6 lobbies were, like, a certain performance points class, and it was just, like, everyone drove random shit. Yeah, that's probably why. See, like, th the thing is that when GT5 came out, right, I had friends, you know, Ambush King had GT5 because he had a working PS3 at the time, and then friends from high school had GT5. Because, you know, it was the hot Gran Turismo game of the time and shit. And it was around the sweet spot for the PS3's life. But then when GT6 came out, obviously the PS4 was a thing. So, like, people jumped ship. 
and like not many people got GTA 6, which is why it was the worst selling of the original six games. And so like, I never really had friends who played GTA 6. So finding Sky Hurricanes lobbies was cool because it's like, oh, this is community driven. Oh, this is wacky. This is fun. But for me, it was like I joined this so late, so I never really got to feel the true enjoyment of GT6. Play adventures on IRL. Once you're out of high school, you will. Trust me. Once you actually go to like events and shit outside of you know school and go places where like more core enthusiasts are together, you'll meet a lot more people who play Gran Turismo. Is there a version of Type R? Maybe. Oh, I'm not used to the grass being there. I'm used to, I'm used to that being Rumble Strip from Sport. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Slammed it to the back of the BRZ. Sorry, BRZ. So you can see the complete difference between the, the front bumper on both cars. I wonder what the 86 and the FRS look like side to side. We'll find out in maybe half a lap's time. Nope, not even. Literally one corner away. Hell ruler with the host. Thanks, dude. They look pretty similar. <laughs> I feel you on that, Chris. I mean, I still remember my very first GT5 lobby. Doing good, dude. How are you? I still remember my first ever online race in GT5. I never understood what TCS was. So every time I try to go into like a corner and I just spin out, I would always get mad because I'm like, I can drive just fine offline. Why is it when I play online, the car is so out of control? I was a pretty stupid teenager when it came to that shit. And like, I want to say it was like GT 500s. So like 600 PP at Daytona road course. And yeah, I needed to say I got fucking slaughtered. <laughs> yeah, fiends. Although with Smash Bros, like, like I said, I just like to play with only select people when it comes to Smash Bros. Just because of how toxic the, the community is and all the other stuff that recently happened. That's really about it. Like, I got challenged recently, or not challenged, but, um, my teammates Gears and Gearza, like, they, um, they're talking about, they're talking about Smash, oh, and also Rush from AMS, um, they're talking about Smash on Twitter, I was like, you know what, I gotta join in on this, I was like, I gotta play you guys, and then, they're kind of like, alright, we gotta do this, I gotta borrow my best friend Switch to actually play Smash with them, and piss everybody off with my Villager and Richter mains. Don't even know if I had a PB limit. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. The good old days of Gran Turismo uh, 6, or 5 and 6 online lobbies. What, this? Huh. This is a core that I could see myself getting as well. Like, I feel like getting an FRS or an 86, you know, regardless of the year, like, I feel like it would be feasible because, like, there's a lot out there. They're not super expensive. And, I mean, they're fun cars. I might, who knows, I might get one. A 
racing team in GT Prologue. Oh, is that what your name is? Rest in peace. Okay, I see. Rip bus. <laughs> Uh, that's great. So, that's it for the National B License. Coffee Break is still something we have to do, but like I said, we're going to do this at the very end of the game, and you got a sneak peek there of what's like, coming up. But because of how short Coffee Break videos will be, I'm just going to make them all one big video at the very end of the game. Right before the end. So that's all the regular National B License events. Apart from Coffee Break, of course. We are currently at 18% still, but... I think it's time to uh, get a new license.